Hey guys, Tyler here. Welcome back. Face of Mr. Guest, old pal Drew Franklin. Hello, hello. hello. This is a early video, 12.38 a.m. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my Waltium Entertainment Media Collection, which basically means DVDs as well, along with um, a couple of the other companies. Anyways, let's go and get started, guys. Now, I was lazy in some of the other companies. There are some I probably am missing, but yeah, and there's a few, and there's like a clamshell I think I'm missing, and it's um, one of my Tom 1 copies of Snow White, per September 26, Tom 1. Um, I'll have to go find that one. I don't know where that one's at at the moment, so I just skipped it for now. Same thing when we get to the DVDs, the Tom 5 USA DVD of Toy Story. I skipped down that one too, I couldn't find it, so yeah. Let's go and get started with the video. We do have Facer Master Guest again, Drew Franklin. You also got Walt Disney Home Entertainment VHS, right, Tyler? Yep, that's the video. Yeah. How many how long will it take? how long will it take? I'm not sure on that question. Let's go and get started. Ugh, I'm trying to reach him. I need to be Superman. Ugh. First one's the Book of Pooh. Mine in the back. This one looks really childish, but I only picked it up for the collection. Here's Dark Circle Level. Plus, it was the first Wolf Stream Entertainment tape actually ever released. Pro date is May 21st, 2001. Yeah, it has a Dark Sticker label. Um, Next up, we got Recess Schools Out. This is a 2001 VHS as well. This does have sound watch good at the end for 12 seconds. June 23rd, 2001. That was absolutely the one final. Yep. Dumbo 60th anniversary. Labels on the back because I actually see it, saw what it was recycled from. 1999, VH is a great mouse detective. August 28th, 2001. Uh, next, we got Mickey's Magical Christmas. Noted in the House of Mouse, even though it has the wrong tape inside. Mickey Mouse, House of Villains. July 25th, 2002. Case is all crunched up. So, there's some doors. I also have another copy, but I couldn't find it, like I said. October 5th, 2001. This is my first copy. Princess of Thieves, Ray TV PG, November 23rd, 2001. And now I did show, a f I'm showing a few Go Class collection tapes. The reason why, because they actually have Walter Retainment logo at the beginning, so I am including them. Mary Poppins. Yeah, the early one does, but while this reprint has Walt's Entertainment logo, the engineer 23rd, 2002. Yeah, it does, I know. Like, the first one, I believe, is the Beauty and the Beast Town 2 preview. Punch back in Notre Dame. February 9th, 2002. And guys, I'll have to make a part two because I think I did skip out in a few DVDs like my bootleg DVD of Aladdin. I actually forgot to get that one a few others. I might look one more time through my DVDs before I make a part two. Okay, this is in pretty poor condition. November 22nd, 2001. Oh, I accidentally put this in the wrong place. That's okay, though. It doesn't have to be perfect. And here's my other copy. April 18, 2002. It does come with raw material, so I'm not going to show in this video. Cinderella 2, Dream Come True. I never owned this tape until recently. 
January 5th, 2002. The kid. Per date is, oh, two per dates. March 12th, on 2 and February 16th, 2002. It's also a Walt Disney Material logo beginning. I do plan to get a uh, Miramax Air pressing, which I know exists because I believe VHS Gamer 99 showed it in one of his videos. And there's the ink label, April 1st, 2002. Got two 2002 copies of Peter Pan. This is the first one. Dark Circle labels on the back. Recycled from, I can't even see that. I'm assuming Toy Story 2, December 28, 2001. All right, we got 2002 Special Edition. Tape. April 16, 2002, Inkable Blue Lid, which is a very hard to find copy for that release. Three copies of Snow Dog, start with this one. Also, have it on DVD. We'll get to that in a bit. October 14, 2004. Um, we got this one, this version of Snow Dogs. April 10th, down too. This is actually the, the uh, non reprint copy. I put it again in the wrong order by mistake. Ah, well, we're only humans. Down 5 reprint. December 21st, 2005. Parent Trap Vault Disney Collection. It's ink label. Two per dates May 4th, town 2, and April 30th, town 2. Two copies of Airbed Simon and Fitch. Start this copy. May 3rd, 2002. Alright. You got this copy. Dark Blue Lid, April 10th, Town 3. This is a reprint copy. Print exactly a year after my Snow Dogs re I mean, uh, non reprint. May 9th, 2002. This tape does have no previews at the beginning. Um, we got two copies of Tarzan Jane. Start with this one. Also have a Mexican Spanish features, which we'll get to in a bit. May 13th, 2002. Day before my first birthday. Tarzan and Jane. Uh, May 6th, down 2, and April 18th, down 2. So it has two per dates. Oh, I also have another copy of this pair of May 7th on 2. Again, I didn't, I ended up actually not finding that one either. I do have this copy though. Two per dates, May 2nd down 2 and April 28th down 2. We got Great Mouse Detective. First down 2 copy. June 14th down 2. It's actually the second copy I got. This is my first copy I got. A little bit of water damage on the back, but that's all right. July 3rd, 2002. That copy does have a blue lid. Best, uh, the Best of Schoolhouse Rock, special 30th anniversary, over 25 songs. Here's a dark, I mean, yeah, dark sticker label. Per date is July 24, 2002. This tape actually came straight out of the shrink wrap, so yeah, this tape is in new condition. Um... Demo tape of Peter Pan Return to Neverland. Also have another copy. Uh, there's a cop another copy I have, but I'm actually going to be getting rid of that one pretty soon. It's the two per day copy. I'm probably going to be giving it to my Fred Justin Luis Incarnation. April 6, 2002. And here is this copy. It's fine. Here's the back. And July 27th on two. Copy I'm keeping. Three copies of Old Yeller, start this copy. I might consider getting rid of my single print day copy, which is this one. July 29th on two. I might get rid of it, actually. I don't think I need that tape anymore. I'm happy with my other two copies. April 15th on two and April 11th, 2002. Also got this. Oh, Disney collection. 
Black Reels copy. October 12, 2004. So it's a reprint. Monkeys Go Home. Two per dates. August 26, on 2, and April 24, 2002. Three VHS copies of Monster Zane. Getting rid of my other one. I'm gonna be giving the other one to uh, Pierce Abasso. August 16, on 2, June 20, on 2. I'm actually. Yeah, I'm gonna give him my bare bones August 15, on 2 copy in a white case. Or if he wants, maybe I could replace the clamshell so he has the original artwork if he'd like that. I could do that for him if he wants me to do that. Inkable. Two per dates. August 15.2, Detroit Tattoo. So yeah, I do have two two per date copies. I might just keep them both for the heck of it. And we got a Canadian copy. So you see it has a Canadian rating. It has a cartridge number. Only once you want camera tape I have with the cartridge number. 1251 out of 1401. Alright, uh, we're moving on to the second stack, I mean the second uh, row, I guess. The Biscuit Eater. There's the ink label. Per day is August 27, 2002. I believe this tape also came out of the shrink wrap back when I got it, so it's in good condition. Yes, uh, that, was, that was the previous one. Being to be special edition, I also have this on DVD, which I'll show in a bit. Along with the Chad Christmas, I have them both on DVD from 7 2. Yeah, I know. Uh, per date, August 13th down 2. I decided I'm going to go ahead and keep both copies. I originally said I was going to get rid of this one, but I'm actually going to keep it for the heck of it, I guess. Uh, why not? Might as well have two VHS copies again. I don't mind that. September 5th, 2002. Country Bears demo tape, another demo tape. Here's an ink label. September 6th on 2 and July 29th, 2002. Country Bears, um, the regular copy. Yeah, that works a little messed up there. That's okay. Dexic label is pretty damaged because I wanted to see what was underneath it. I don't remember what was underneath it though. October 25th, 2002. It is a Blockbuster rental copy, but I did take off the Blockbuster label to reveal the print date. Same with this next one, Way to Pooh, A Very Merry Pooh Year. This one's also a Blockbuster date one. July 14, July 18, top four. The other one, I believe, did not have a Blockbuster date. Either that or it was ripped off, I don't remember. September 18, 2002. Alright, we got four different VHS copies of Lilo and Stitch. Start with this one. First one I ever got. Number six and two. Now this one. Yeah. September twenty seven to that and two. Got this bootleg Spanish uh, copy. It's a bootleg. And we got a two thousand and three reprint. Yeah, conditions are a little rough though. January second, two thousand three. Go class collection VHS of the Fox and the Hound in the back right there. October twenty second, two thousand two. This one also does have the Walt Disney Entertainment logo at the beginning as update previews. Shoot, you know what? Did I put dinosaur in here? Oh, crap. I don't think I put Dinosaur in here, guys. That one also has World Series Entertainment logo being. That one also had two perp dates. I believe it was June 28th and June 24th, 2003 for that one. That one also had the World Series Entertainment logo being. I think I forgot that one, too. I'm very sorry, guys. I didn't even notice that. Oh, wow. Santa Claus. Got two copies. October 2nd, that 2, and August 12th, 2002. And we got this copy. Um, November 25th, down 2, and October 2nd, 2002. Alright, we got 102, uh, 1 Nomations 2, Batch of London Adventure. Also, have the Japanese VHS of this, which we will we'll get to in a little bit. Uh, December 12th, 2002. Four copies of Journey Again. Start this copy. 
I might get rid of one of them. I'm, I'm deciding which one. December 31st and 26, 2002. Probably not that one, because I like the print dates on that one. Maybe I'll get rid of this one. March 31st on 3 and March 22nd on 3. Yeah, I might get rid of the, this one. I'm probably going to get rid of. The others I'm going to keep. I'm going to keep the others. August 13th on 2, April 24th on 2. I'm going to keep that one. That's a nice early pressing. Same with the other one. So yeah, I'm going to get rid of the town 3 I'm going to have. Uh, August 16th, 2004, Black Reels. Obviously, I'm going to keep that. Uh, we got Spy Kids 2, The Island of Lost Dreams. Again, this will also be Dimension and some other companies too. Um, yeah, the case is a little bit, it's like Tate. It's weird. There. Incredible. Two per day. Jammer attempt on three and Jammer third town three. Pretty weak apart. Oh, come on. There. Ugh, I really hate this tape. I'm going to, I mean, not not the tape itself, but the tape right here. I'm going to have to take it off. I'm probably going to take it off tomorrow. Tomorrow afternoon. Tuck of Elasting. Spine in the back. Corbett uses school elastic. Sick label, dark sick label. Little messed up there. I wanted to see what was underneath the great dark sick label. That was back when I checked. January 25th, 2003. I don't check them anymore because I believe that's just kind of like label vandalism nowadays. Pointless label vandalism. Okay, we got two copies of Treasure Planet. Let's start with this copy. Um, both are better copies. February 26th, 2003. It was a little messed up, so that's back when I wanted to check what, what was underneath the tapes. And this one has a blue lid, and the label's not messed up this time. Uh, it will never be messed up. I'm not going to mess it up like I did my own. April 4th, 2003. We got Rascal. And just a tape. March 31st on 3, March 6th, 2003. Piglet's Big Movie. This is a demo tape. Did not like this movie, but I will definitely keep it for the collection purposes. April 17th, 2003. Alright, we got The Jungle Book 2. Dark Sugar Labels on the back. It's back when I checked. Cycle from Oliver Company to 2 VHS, which I believe it or not, I do not actually have yet. I plan to get it. April 30th, 2003. Chris Fortin luckily, luckily has given me a copy though, which is good. I believe the print date on the copy he's given me is April 19th, 2002. I can't wait till I actually get that tape. That's going to be exciting. Two per dates May 16th, 2003, and April 23rd, 2003. Alright, we got Kiki's Delivery Service. I'm not a fan of anime, but I picked it up anyway because it is a hard tape to find. All right, June 25th, 2003. I don't remember exactly how I got this one. Oh, Dinosaur is here. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, I made a mistake then. Yeah, Dinosaur is here, guys. I'm sorry for that. And the two per dates are correct. June 28th on free, June 14th on free. Stitch the movie, which I also have the Australian VHS of. We'll get to that in a bit. And there's a label. Uh, July 15th, 2003, and July 3rd, 2003. We got Georgia Jungle 2. This is a demo tape. Tape. July 28th on 3 and July 21st to 3 for a week apart. Sleeping Beauty. This is the special edition. I plan to get the Time 3 DVD sometime. I do have the 2009 Platinum Edition DVD though. Or 2008, one of the two. August 11, 2003.
Holes. Also got Spanish features of this movie, which we'll get to right after this one. Caruso Walden Media and Tape. August 18th Town 3, March 24th Town 3. Second per day is extremely early. Same with one of my copies of Finding Nemo, which I'll show in a little bit. Actually, at about at about a minute or two, actually, because we're getting right, almost right to 2004. This is the Spanish copy, which is ultra rare. Blue tape. Oh my god, nice. September 10th, 2003. Alright, two copies of the Lion King Special Edition. I'm giving my other one to Pierre Sabasso as well. He, this is the copy he actually gave me. September 16, 2003. And here's this copy. This copy's in really good condition. I actually picked this up over at the Arthur store. I actually came with promo material, which I'm not going to show this time. August 29, 2003. Alright. The Music Man with Matthew Broderick. Mm, this one looks okay. Doesn't look that good. October 13th down 3 and February 12th down 3. I mainly got because it looked like an interesting tape for the collection, even though it doesn't look and even though the special itself doesn't look all that good. Rescuers 2003. VHS, very hard to find. Actually, I had to order this one because I just couldn't find any copies anywhere. So, yeah, I got it now. This copy does have new previews. October 29th, 2003. All right. Uh, Freaky Friday. I actually absolutely hate this movie, but I got it for the collection purposes. I actually originally had a copy, but I, was, I got rid of it. I went and got and picked up another copy. They're November 15 time free and they're 8 time 3. Wait, what's up? Pretty week apart. You got it on DVD? Okay. Yeah. Film's pretty crappy. Next three are Finding Nemo. Start with this one. Oh, this is the early pressing one. Nice. October 2nd time free and February 12th time free. Second per day is way before the movie came out. That is so cool. Wow. That's rare. We got this one. September 4, 2003. I do have three copies. Probably going to keep all three. September 22nd time free, September 12th, 2003. For 10 days apart. Two copies of The Lion King 1.5. I also have two copies of The Lion King 2 Simba's Pride, which we'll get to in a little bit. It's in trashy condition. December 30th time free, and December 23rd, 2003. We're also going to be getting to an opinion change in a few minutes. Oh, whoa. That I actually haven't told you guys yet. Uh, we'll get to that in a few minutes. This is my non-damaged copy. My other copy actually is damaged at the end credits. December 29th, 2003 and December 16th, 2003. This copy is not damaged that I know of. It looks pretty clean anyway. Alright, now we're at 2004. Winnie the Pooh, Springtime with Rue. Sticker label, February 11, 2004. Spy Kids 3, game over. Spine is the back. So the spine a little better. Uh, February 3rd, Town 4, and January 26, 2004. We got Brother Bear. Also have a Brazilian Portuguese VHS, which we'll get to in a little bit of this movie. Uh, per day, two per dates, March 9, Town 4, and March 4, 2004. Haunted Mansion. I also have this on DVD. Crap, I forgot to get it. 
Uh, yeah, I do have it on DVD, but I didn't put it with my DVDs. I might see if I can find it. March 17, 2004. I do have this on DVD. I'll look a little harder before I do the next part. When I wake up in the morning, demo tape of Porco Rosso. And the back. Here's the tape itself. May 14th, 2004. Printed on my third birthday. Same with the next tape. Next tape actually has the exact same print date. Believe it or not. Even though this film is trash, though, in my opinion. Confessions of a Teenage Drama Queen. Ugh. This film does not look good to me at all, but I did pick it up for the clutch versus. Plus, it was printed on my third birthday. May 14th, 2004. Ella Enchanted. Yeah, this film looks like crap too, but I got it for collection purposes. That was dumb. I actually, obviously, it was recycled from Monsters Inc. I don't even know why I destroyed the label on this one. I just, I guess I just did it for the heck of it. I don't know what I was thinking, honestly. July 28th, 2004. Uh, two copies of Like You Two, Simmons Pride. Uh, now, opinion change. I actually watched this movie not too long ago again. Um, I'm sorry to inform you guys. I think this film actually sucks nowadays. I do not like this movie anymore. I agree with Patrick Araujo nowadays. But if you guys like this movie, I do totally respect your opinion. I rewatched this movie, and I'm no longer neutral to it. Now I just think it downright sucks. Ugh, this movie is terrible. July 29, 2004. But again, I will keep this tape for the collection purposes. And it's recycled from Spy Kids 3 Game Over, by the way. And this film will be in my new least favorite movies list. Back when I want to do it. This copy does not have a blue lid. July 21st, 2004. It says zero tape press. That's rather interesting. Okay, we got two copies of Aladdin Special Edition. Start with this one. August 24, 2004. It's my, actually my second copy. Even though the film strip, film strip is a bit damaged, but I decided just to pick it up anyway. I think the tape might just still work fine. I just picked it up for the heck of it. Alright. And here is this copy. I know I'd regret it if I didn't get the other copy, so I just went ahead and got another copy. Ox 27, 2004. Definitely still keeping both of them. I also have the Italian Beatrice, which we'll get to in a little bit. Pollyanna. Alright, here's the ink label. Blue and black reels. This is a reprint from September 7, 2004. It is currently, let's see what time it is. It's 1.06 a.m. Oh wow, it's 1 in the morning already. I need to go to sleep in a little bit. Um, September 22nd, down 4. Same per day as my other copy. Spoiler. Yep. Yeah. Label's all screwed up here. All screwed up. And there's a crack in the lens, too. Same exact print date. We got two copies of Swiss Family Robinson. Start with this copy. They're both reprints, by the way. Oh, this one's a later reprint. April 22nd, 2005. Well, this other copy is not as late per date. And this one, September 30th, 2004. Around the World in 80 Days. We're almost done. We have two more clamshells after this. October 7, 2004. I'm, I am going to be getting more World 2 and Tam tapes, guys, soon. So, yeah, I'll be able to add more to the collection soon. Mary Poppins, 40th Anniversary. And tape. Number 8, 2004. And... Lastly, for the clamshells, Young Black Stallion. Alright, uh, number 24, 2004. Alright, so covers now. Tron, the Ultra Rare 2002 VHS. Now, another stupid thing I did back in the day is I wrote my name on some of these tapes. I don't know what I was thinking, but yeah. January 3rd, Town 2, and December 6, 2001. Demo tape of Other Side of Heaven. Only ever will team retain the tape to actually have the green FBI warnings. It's ultra rare. Ugh. Excuse me. Ink label. January 28th, 2003. March 11th, 3rd, March 3rd, 3rd. My smile is returned. 
uh, April 23rd, 2003. Got the demo tape of the rookie. Uh, May 23rd on 2, May 8th on 2. And we also got the regular copy, which also has two per dates. August 8th on 2, August 6th on 2. Bionicle, Mask of Light in the movie. Looks uninteresting, but I'm still going to keep the tape. Thought it, thought it was kind of an interesting type, so, uh, yeah. July 22nd, 2003. I do have that Spider-Man whatever that tape was, also from uh, Buena Vista, but I didn't actually didn't pull it out, unfortunately. So, yeah, I, I will. That one's not in here, even though I do still have that tape somewhere in my house, my, my new house, somewhere. October 17th, 2003. Uh, Private Security being a Curtis Black Pearl. Hang on a second. We got a little bit of a mess going on here. Uh, hang on. Oh, jeez. Ugh. Really? Really? Hold up. Alright. Private Security being a Curtis Black Pearl. I, I hear rumors saying that there's a VHS of the second film. I honestly kind of don't buy that. I actually, you know, the reason why is because I haven't actually seen uh, any pictures or anything of the sequel on VHS, so I really, honestly, kind of don't believe it exists, but I, I pretty much just need to see picture proof in order to believe it. Number four, Tom Free, on October 30th, 2003. Even though Wikipedia does say it exists, but I kind of don't think so. I don't think that's true. I mean, it might not be true, to be honest. Miracle. Alright, April 15th, 2004. Also found another copy printed, I think, April 29th, 2004, but I actually passed it up. Ah, well, if I find it again, maybe I'll get it next time. Uh, Ghost of the Abyss, this is a demo tape. It's ultra rare demo tape. I don't think a regular copy of this movie exists. But I could be wrong on VHS. Uh, that's the only, this is the only version on VHS I've seen. Junior Sam's on four, North 21st on three. Uh, Milan two. Looks like a decent sequel, but I haven't actually seen it. December 15th, on four. Ace Princess. Haven't seen this movie. It looks like crap, but I'm going to keep it anyway. June 8th, 2005. Got it mainly because it's a rare tape. Pooh's Heffalant movie. Film's crap as well. I'm going to keep it because it's a rare tape. April 19, 2005. Got Pooh's Half Up Halloween movie. And per date is August 25th, 2005. Alright. Bambi Platinum Edition Special Edition. Also have this on DVD, which we'll get to when we get to the DVDs in a little while. April 7th, which will be in the morning tomorrow. Well, technically today, because it's 1 in the morning. Cinderella Special Edition. Top is ripped off. Got this from Chris Fortin. Uh, tape. September 7, 2005. I've been, I've been needing a better copy of it. So, yeah. Finally got a better copy. I believe it will still work fine. The Incredibles. Also got an American Spanish VHS after this. Um, June 24, 2005. I remember I also had a dead copy that I threw out already. A while back. This is the American Spanish VHS that is incredibly rare. Las Incredibles, favorite third time five. Also have the Italian VHS, which we'll get to when we get to the foreign tapes. Also, there's a foreign tape I need to go get real quick, guys. Um, I've just had to put my camera down for a few minutes after, I mean, after I show these slip covers. They don't stitch too, so it has a glitch. Pro date is July 21st, 2005. Bambi 2, this is the demo tape version. Also going to get to the first film. I mean, to the uh, regular uh, demo tape. I mean, the regular uh, VHS copy. It's non-demo in a little bit. Actually, in about a minute. It's right after this one. October 26, 2005. This actually is a rare feature program screen at the beginning. That I don't think I've seen in any other Walt Disney Entertainment tape. But I could be wrong, but I don't think it's shown in any of the other ones. Uh, we got Bambi 2, the regular print. 
again, I wrote my name on this. Some of these I really regret writing my name on. It's just kind of stupid, to be honest. I should not have done that. January 5th, 2006. It just doesn't look that good. I don't do that anymore, and I'm never going to do that again. That's just, that's just a waste. Tarzan Special Edition. I do have the Tom 5 DVD, but it's a reprint, so I didn't pick it up. I mean, I didn't uh, put it in the DVDs, even though I do have it, but, you know. Same with the Parent Trap Tom 5 DVD. I have it, but it's a reprint, so I'm not going to show it. December 7, 2005. Land the King of Thieves. Here's where we start getting really rare. December 14, 2004. Actually, with Tar... I mean, actually, we've been rare for a little while. The Incredibles is not as rare as as some of the other ones, but still, The Incredibles is pretty cool. Well, the American Spanish one is a bit rarer. Has a bit is a bit rarer than that, though. Herbie fully loaded. Now we're getting to some of the Disney movie exclusive tapes. This tape's very rare. February 4, 2006. Says Zero Tape Press again. Weird. Excuse me. We got Valiant. Eh, that movie looks like crap, but... Ah, well, I'm going to keep the tape. April 12, 2006. Laying the Tramp. This is the 50th anniversary edition on VHS. Here's the ink label. May 22nd, 2006. Printed, I believe, eight days after my birthday. My fifth birthday. Narnia, Lion Witch in a Wardrobe. Also have the UK DVD of this, which we'll be getting to when we get to the DVDs. June 22nd, 2006. Alright. Cinderella 3 Twist and Time demo tape. The tape everybody pretty much is triggered over me getting. Um, North Santon 6. Only tape known to have the Town 6 Walt Disney Pictures logo at the beginning. Little Mermaid Town 7 VHS. Got this from Chris Fortin. I'm never, ever getting rid of this. I'm going you know, to keep this tape forever. January 3rd Town 7. Very, 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 very rare. Hang on. We got Cars. Very rare. We got uh, one more after this. February 19, 2007. And Chicken Little. This is the descriptive video service version, which is extremely, extremely, extremely hard to find. Ink label. Uh, some Braille at the top. May 16, 2007. Two days after my sixth birthday. That's very cool. Alright, I need to go... Uh, I need to go get a tape just real quick. It should take probably just uh, about 30 seconds. <sighs> Sorry. <sighs> Sorry about that. <sighs> and my room is a bit of a mess. I truly do apologize. I need to clean up my room as soon as possible. All right, let's get to the um, foreign ones now. And then we'll get to uh, the last few for this part. And then we'll get to the DVDs when I wake up. Uh, okay, okay, we got Mickey Ama a Mini. That's the title in Spanish. Don't know the American title that much. Mickey and Mini, I guess? That's my best guess. Probably is. Uh, per date, no, for a second time. One. I just noticed that I, I forgot Sword of Stone um, reprint one, but uh, you know what? Now that I think about it, I don't think that one really is a Walt Disney Entertainment tape. I don't really consider that now that I think about it. Book of Pooh. Got another copy. This one's actually from Mexico this time. Latino, which means Mexico, obviously. Another word for Mexican. May 23rd, 2002. And guys, by the way, um, I do have news. For the tapes that were moldy and stuff, the seller actually never sent the thing for me to ship them back. So I actually am keeping them. 
I'm going to be getting rid of the most dirty ones, though. I may be sending my friends if they're interested. Uh, Sworn of Stone. I mean, I'm not, not Sworn of Stone. Snow White and the Seven Dwarves is the South Korean VHS release. Pretty cool. And has a cool, very cool looking tape. Oh my god, I love the tape on this one. It looks great, man. Look at that. And it's an NTSC, too, so it can play in American VCRs, too. Same with Mexican tapes. Okay, next one's PAL, though. You can't play it in a regular VCR. You have to actually play it in a PAL VCR. And some of them are like that. Some tapes are like that. Tarzan. Oh, oh no, no, that's not it. Uh, we're getting to that right afterwards. Uh, the one that's PAL is Snow Dogs. The one that's next, that's PAL. Hey guys, actually, I'm probably uh, I'm probably gonna upload this before I get to bed, I guess. Number eight to down three. Eighth of November time three it says. Ugh, man, there. Tarzan Jane. This is the Mexican Spanish uh, VHS. tape. Her date is number 28, 2002. Another Mexican Spanish. Beauty and the Beast, The Enchanted Christmas. This is the special edition. This is incredibly rare. And there's the tape. Inclayable. Her date is October 6, 2002. Oh boy, this next one you guys are going to absolutely love. German VHS of Peter Pan 2. Peter Pan Return to Neverland. Wow. Beautiful. And there's the tape, sticker label. Per date is January 25th, 2003. Same per date actually is my uh, Tug Everlasting USA tape. That's the same exact print date. Uh, Robin Hood, this one does, actually is really moldy, but, uh, I might just keep it, actually, because it's a reprint, that's actually pretty rare. March 27, 2003. I'm going to keep it for the looks, but I'm probably not going to pop it in, because it looks moldy. Incredible Hulk, this is the one I had to go get. Ink label, Mexican Spanish tape. Her date is April 22nd, 2003. Stitch the movie. This is the Australian import, like I promised. Let's do a label and the in label. Next one's also from Australia. This is a Miramax tape. Pokemon Forever. I hate Pokemon, but I got it for the collection purposes. I thought, and plus I got kind of kind of a good deal on it. Wasn't as expensive as most Australian tapes. Even though it was still a bit pricey, but not nearly as expensive as I expected. 101 Dalmatians 2, Patches London Adventure, Japanese VHS, as I promised. Ink label, tan lid, and the end label. Lion King, this is the UK VHS. This one actually does not look all that moldy. It looks a tiny bit moldy. A little tiny bit moldy. Um, I think the tape just might be okay, though. It might just be alright, though. September 27, 2003. Ugh, come on. Come on. Get in there. Get in there. There. Next up, we got the 2003 VHS of Pinocchio, the one everybody's talking about. It has the, actually has the Walt Disney Black Diamond logo paltone at the beginning, which is very freaking crazy, along with the Walt Disney Entertainment logo twice at the beginning. So you're able, per date, same per date as the Lion King Special Edition, September 27, 2003. This has the exact same print date. This one came out of shrink wrap when I got it, so yeah, this one's in perfect condition. Nothing wrong with it at all. Got so lucky. 
Uh, next two are actually from Sweden. Then we'll get to my Brazilian Portuguese uh, Waltz Entertainment tape. And then we'll, um, obviously, we'll get from there. And by the way, the good thing about my Brazilian VHS, NTSC. So you can play it in pretty much any VCR. I Probably any VCR in the world. So the label, and unfortunately, the lid broke off of this one. There's no lid on this one anymore. Yep. Lid broke off of this one. Here's Goofy, is what it is. Try not to screw up the film strip. There. Okay, this is uh, something about Olympics. Goofy in the Olympics or something like that. No per date on either one of those. I guess Swedish well tuned retainment tapes do not do print dates. Same with Japanese ones. Okay, Brazilian Portuguese VHS of Brother Bear. Here's the tape. Oh my god, that looks interesting. Do not touch the tape. Ink and label. Wow. Her date on the top says April 16, 2004. We got a demo tape. Look at that. Of National Treasure and Finding Neverland. Two movies. Set. Look at that demo tape from Australia. Very rare. Got it for $21, but it was honestly kind of worth it because it's a demo. I've never seen an Australian demo tape or I own one. Especially from Disney. It's interesting. Monsters Inc. This is the Italian VHS, and the next four are also Italian. Sticker label and the end label. This does have the blue tape. And instead of the THX Move Can, unfortunately, it doesn't have it. It has the Waltz Entertainment logo to make up for it. Now, guys, I do have a few other Waltz Entertainment tapes from the UK, like Finding Emo, but I'm going to be getting rid of those because those ones are just, are just way too, um, way too screwed up to keep. I'm going to order myself better copies sometime in the next year or so. This is the Italian VHS of The Lion King. Let's take a label. End label. Oh, it's at the end. Weird. Oh, come on. Come on, come on. What time is it right now? Let's let, okay, time check. One twenty-six. Oh my goodness. Aladdin Italian VHS. Fine. Here's the back. One twenty-six a.m. Here's the single label and the end label. Obviously, this is the special edition. G incredible. Obviously, The Incredibles in English. I actually revealed the print date on this one. I mean, guys, I'm going to try to put my multi-regional VCR in the shop. I'm very late on doing that. I'm going to try to do that as soon as I can. January 13th, 2005. I actually revealed the print date underneath the end label. There's a print date underneath it. It says 13th January, so 5, though. Um... Okay, we got Bambi Special Edition. This was the first Walt Disney Entertainment Italian tape I ever got. This was the very first. Per day at the beginning, I believe, said September 23rd, 2005. That's the per day on this tape. Alright. And Ponyo, the rarest of them all. Japanese features from Town 9. That is crazy, man. I won the bid to this for like $26. I know, crap ton of money, but it was worth it. Kind of. Well, yeah, it was worth it because it's a ton 9 VHS. You don't, oh my god. Those are like so freaking hard to find. This is made Japan in the back.
Plus, I've never seen a tape with actual promo material from to the, from like 2009 from Walt Disney Studios Home Entertainment on a, in a VHS. So yeah, crazy man. And now let's get to these. These will be the last before I head off to bed. Kill Bill Volume One, two blockers a day, August 12th and September 20. I mean August 12th on four, September 20th on five. March 12th, 2004. Kill Bill Volume 2, Blockbuster Day, September, oh wait, uh, August 22nd and September 20th, 2005. July 7th, 2004 is the print date. Okay. Jersey Girl. Dark Sugar Label, August 13th, 2004. Got two demo tapes. Hellraiser Hellworld and Hellraiser Deader. April 19th, um, 5, and this one is printed on March 2nd, 2005. Sin City, you also have the Canadian DVD of this, which we'll get to in a bit. July 25th, town 5. Got three more before I head off to bed. September 16th, 2004. Village, December 7, 2004, Last Tape, Ladder 49, February 1st, 2005, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, part one, stay tuned for part two, when I, uh, I will do part two as soon as I get, a get out of bed, okay, see you guys.